So I'm here today to tell you about the shoulder holster bag and how it works and how you can make the adjustments to fit your body and your style based on the different sizes that are available. So the bag itself straps across both shoulders and the back and it hangs at a low profile under your arm and out of the way. The bag itself is mostly four pockets. There's the main central pocket here. I often like to keep my wallet in there for easy access. There's a pocket on the outside under this magnetic flap. And then these two inside pockets for a really convenient and safe place to store things you don't want to lose, like the phone, or this smaller pocket here for a lighter or a business card, whatever you want to keep in there, small items. On the back is a Velcro patch the adjustments that can be made are for the size of the armhole, for the length of the strap in the back, and for whether you want the bag on your left or right side. So first of all, taking the bag on and off. I put the bag on like a backpack. You can see here where the two armholes are. I put my arm in one and the other and slide it down like this. Then with a small adjustment to make it comfortable, then it's ready to go. To take the bag off, also similar to a backpack, I slide it off the back of my shoulders and it just falls off from there. Now to adjust the size of the strap, there's this buckle in back. It's very straightforward to pop it, similar to a seat belt. You can make it longer by pulling more strap out or shorter by letting more strap into it and then lock it back down. If you want to do it while it's on your body, just have a friend come over and tighten you up until you feel the right amount of flex in the shoulders so you're not constricted by it, but it does stay snug against you. And you'll only have to make this buckle adjustment once for your size. It's the same is true of this armhole, which is adjusted by snaps. That'll really stay on once you put them on. And the sizes you can do are with both snaps lined up, it's kind of the normal or average size. You can make it larger by just lining up these two snaps. Or you could even make it shorter if necessary by using the top and the bottom snap in combination to shrink this hole. Now again, it, the same snaps exist on the front and on the back. So for example, if you needed a very large armhole or you just wanted the bag to hang lower, you can snap just at the top. And now the bag hole is much larger. So if I put the bag on now, You can see that it hangs a lot lower down and I have all this space here in my arm. But I personally like it a little snugger and I keep it right on the average size for the most part. To adjust the bag from your left side to your right side or vice versa, you need to simply remove the strap. So here I have the bag and the harness and then snap it onto the other side. So if it's going to be here, I want one strap on the top and one on the back. And I reversed it to hang on my left side. Simple. The final adjustable piece about the bag is this piece in back. This is a Velcro patch. And here, on the back is the loop side of Velcro, so the non-scratchy side, which can go under your clothing easily. But if you have any patch with the hook side on it, you can use the ones that we provide, or make your own, or take an emblem or a piece of fabric that you like and put the Velcro on that, and just stick it right on there to personalize or customize your own shoulder bag. So those are the basic adjustments for the shoulder bag, which has earned the Nickname the Shoulster for Shoulder Holster. And it's pretty convenient. It's especially good if you don't have any pockets in your pants or you want to keep things just a little bit more secure. You're always right there next to your belongings. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have any problems with the adjustment or have an additional question, just send it to us. We'll get back to you.